This may very well be my favorite Glamour release in a good long, long while. This is so well done. So Final Fantasy XIV released a brand new street attire Glamour set at Wilnemog Station, and this is going to be a super short video checking it out, giving my thoughts, giving my die recommendations, and yeah, I hope that this helps you guys out, and as always, if it does, I would super appreciate if you threw a wearable hat on that like button and can't daddy that subscribe button. First up on the list is going to be what I just talked about, which is Rothgar and Viera can't use the super cool aesthetic hat because that we can't have nice things, I guess. And so that always makes me sad. I honestly really actually did genuinely have my hopes up that we could wear a, like this backwards hat and that I could have that like backwards hat do gym douche bro aesthetic that I so often fall for. I mean, talking about my boyfriend, like, yeah, he, he pulled it off very, very well, very, very, very well. And so honestly, it's just a big bummer that Rothgar obviously can't have that aesthetic. It's actually a super huge big bummer. I'd have used it significantly more often in my gameplay footage than I'd care to probably admit but since that's not gonna happen rip let's see I'd use it with this warrior armor with the sage glam oh I it, it'd be ridiculous it'd be right up there with the amount that I use these glasses uh, but alas this is why we can't have nice things but my genuine disappointment over that aside this outfit set is genuinely hilariously fantastic awesome so I'm gonna just shelve that now and we're gonna talk about everything else first up is gonna be the top or the body piece with the multiple bands and the um I don't know how to say this, like, aesthetic metal chocobo, like, necklace is actually fantastic. The jacket has the forearms curled up and the bun details, it's just, like, the detailing in general on this is amazing, let alone the stitching, for example, like, it's actually masterfully done for a glamour in a video game, like, this is, this is pretty top tier. Now, the Moogle on the back also is very fun, it's like a chill, laid back and relaxed, like, Moogle, which I think is a fun little touch to not keep things too serious. I feel that this is kind of like a, a, a more meme version of like how we had that one like hoodie jacket that got really really popular that I was wearing for a long long while too with the Ifrit in the back, the Inferno jacket. I, I like this kind of thing. I think it's fun. It spices it up a bit. Now a neat fact that most people are missing out on is that you can actually use bracelet accessories with this glamour set. Yes, this massive chunky metal bracelet here is totally working with the set right in front of you so yeah you can definitely pick and choose which kind of wristbands you want and so I think that that's gonna actually open up a lot of potential for some people how to address the stomach in the room obviously the stomach is here guys and see I know I have seen the dart uh, the art of <laughs> my character and oh my god I know that people are gonna have a field day with this one yeah um I'm certain it will get quite spicy here and I look <laughs> forward to it <laughs> Although one thing that I do need to say is the artists are a little bit not quite to reality that you know it's actually much 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 bigger than drawn specifically the size of my these gloves are extremely neat as well which the detailing on them is just fantastic remember that these glam pieces are all distinct pieces and on their own and can be mixed and matched with other things and yeah to say the absolute least i can see that this is going to go with a ton of different other styles and sets and really complement other things you have so many rings the glove for holding your arm the everything is just so so good like these are just fantastic the level of detail is just so so over the top good like the bracelets have like the detailing on them like one of them has the chocobo little circle the other has the square like the it, it these are just really really well done i actually really do see myself incorporating this into some different glams like this is just great now these pants i'm torn on their ability to look like comfy baggy yoga pants and then we have these chains on them and it, it's like again like the level of detailing is just wild it's like <laughs> You get the circles on there with the loops, you get the chain going all around, which I know we have seen like on the, what do you call it, the like, uh, the, the coat with the fur, oh my god I can't even remember what it's called right now, the rebel coat, and then we have the alternate version of the rebel coat obviously to complement that as well, so it's like these pants I could definitely see going with that, but I think that these could also be like comfy yoga pants or like just like gym pants just because they have the like ribbon in the front i i know so i'm being stupid but i really do think that it could be good and depending on the color that you dyed them like i think that we'll see these around and like these pants again just they, they, they knock it out of the park like with these finally we're landing on the shoes and good lord i actually love these shoes these shoes are so 
over the top and ridiculous that I can see myself using them ridiculously often in game like I've been bringing it up in terms of like the gloves and the pants but these shoes are so so good that I actually kind of want to pick up a pair for myself in real life which I don't have any shoes anything like this but these are like giant like alien like spaceman kind of shoes oh my god if I start talking about the spaceman I'm gonna start talking about that one music video that I am obsessed with if, if guys like if you haven't heard about electric cowboy I'm actually such a huge fan of their stuff and so it's just like I can hear like the spaceman songs playing in my head right now and I'm like oh god but like these shoes I uh, in terms of 14, these shoes are the perfect, like, shoes for stepping on the Mikode and Limes supplements <laughs> that ask me to. <laughs> I mean that they are very sensible shoes for balancing both combat and style. Mm -hmm. These are very sensible, <laughs> these set of shoes. So in summary, if this glamour set had a hat that I could wear, I'd absolutely fall head over heels for it. It would be like a 9 billion out of 10. This is absolutely by far easily one of the best glamour sets launched yet. Uh, it, like this is among like the best of the best of them. And I genuinely see, at least for myself, myself using many pieces of it for literally years to come. Like those shoes might become a staple. I'm not even exaggerating. Now let's talk about dye options that I'm really enjoying and can recommend. So first off, don't waste your jet black dye on dyeing these pieces. The color is basically the same. In fact, the jet black dye just seems to be a bit brighter or a bit more faded in color from what I, my eyes personally are saying. People might disagree, but in my opinion, save your precious dyes. Those are way too fucking expensive to do otherwise. Now obviously the default out of the box is a pretty fantastic color. I think everything is actually really nicely balanced here but um, other options that I do think to include would be things like that ink blue dye for that blue jean kind of look. Then you also have the marsh green dye which is a pretty awesome take. Kind of reminds me of like uniform colors. One thing that you could even do this with is like we have like this pair of like camo pants from like the Yorha raid for like ranged physical DPS and I think maybe ninja also can do the same pair. Correct me if I'm wrong but I think that they might be able to. I think that that would go great with these. Chestnut brown dye is another really fun color. It makes me it look kind of a bit more like leather to me which is always going to be a fun take. Now if we're talking about those amazing space shoes given their design aesthetic given how chonky these chonker of shoes are i think that these are pretty epic in pretty much any of the metallic colors even if you're like not dying anything else the metallic colors really really pop like they are they're, they're really strong like i'm not gonna blow the insane amount of guilt to try all these different colors in person and preview it for you guys but i really do think that we can pull off these colors so so well with these shoes like the metallic brass dye is pretty iconic and so yeah, I put that on the shoes. <laughs> Looks good, bro. I don't know. <laughs> but in conclusion for this section, obviously more colors than that can look good, but that's just what I personally landed on for myself as being like my standout colors. Let me know what your favorite color combinations are in the comments. I am actually kind of curious because I know that I'm going to use these pieces like crazy. But yeah, we're just keeping it short and sweet here, guys. I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.